Gracie, welcome to Bristol City. We're delighted to have you on board. How are you feeling having put pen to paper until the end of the season? Yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a really good experience for me, especially having to move away, um, meet new people and live in a different part of the country. I think it'd be really, I'm really excited for it. And how important is it to sort of test yourself as a young player with, like you say, mo moving away from, from home, meeting new people and playing in new teams? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be like I'm going to be out of my comfort zone. So I think it's going to be really important for me just to, just to do that because I haven't moved away ho from home yet. Um, so I think it's going to be a good part of learning for me. And, and obviously, like I said, like meeting new people, especially like living with different people as well. I haven't moved away actually in my house yet as well. Like living with other people there is going to be exciting. So I'm going to can't wait for that as well. And what is it that attracted you to Bristol City? I think as well how well they're doing the championship there and how progressive the, the, um, the team is so far. You can see in their performances um, how well they're doing, especially with how they're integrating with the men now. I think it's a really important thing for me personally. So I think that. Um, that's definitely one of the main things that draw me to Bristol City. And tell us a little bit about your, your time with Spurs. You, you do have some WSL experience um, under your belt already this season, which, which could prove invaluable. Yeah, definitely. I had a, a couple uh, games for Spurs at the start of the season, um, which obviously I can bring to the table with in terms of the experience with WSL. But obviously for here as well, it's going to be important for me to gain experience from the girls that obviously some people might obviously have been ex WSL players as well here so it'll be important for me to gain that from them and bring what I've got um, but then obviously like learning from them as well. And how important is it as the for your own development to get some game time and to play in these competitive games in the championship? Yeah no, definitely obviously me only being 20 and being a centre half is obviously I need to gain as much experience as I can from a young age I think it's always important just to just to play games is the most important thing so I'm looking forward to that hopefully obviously if I'm performing well and um, seeing how well I can do to get obviously gain that um, game time, but no, it'll be good for that. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what are your, what are your strengths and what can Bristol City fans expect to see from Gracie Pitt? Um, hopefully for me, I think the main thing for me is being like an influencer um, in terms of like how I influence the team. I can be an impact player, I think, in terms of like working hard and like doing the little things off the pitch and on the pitch as well. Being able to be that player that like, if there's like a few things going wrong, I can help to change that um, being like, making sure I can communicate that in different ways and basically just helping the team as much as I can. I think that's the main goal for me to coming here is just helping this team be promoted at the end of the day. It's the, the main goal for me in any way I can. And there's no game until the end of next week as, as the season restarts after the Christmas break. How important is it that, that you have that time to integrate and, and meet the girls and, and get yourself ready for, for the visit of Coventry? Yeah, no, definitely. I think I've already met a few of the girls because obviously I'm at a player house now and they're all lovely to be fair. So I think I'm going to meet the girls soon as well, so I think it'd be so important for me just to um, meet them and just get to know them beforehand and to settle in nicely before the first game.